and April's Apaka box just came in the mail. This month's theme is Forager. And it came in a green box. I just got home from work uh, with this box in tow. And I'm excited to share with y'all what's inside. So Apaka box, unlike Battle Box, which uh, the one that I'm subscribed to is $150 a month. Uh, you can get less expensive ones, of course. Uh, but Apaka boxes are $50 a month plus shipping and you're charged that every other month and uh, so basically it averages out to $25 a month um, like I said plus shipping and then it's uh, you'll get six boxes over the course of a year uh, so it's kind of an interesting uh, setup the way that that is it's kind of a little bit more budget friendly as far as uh, these uh, subscription services go for with, with these themes um, and I'm curious to, to hear what you guys have to say um, this month is uh, has a has a knife and I'm actually pretty excited about that knife and there's um, there's a few other items that I'll probably be incorporating um, into not only my library but my um, survival kits bug out bags everyday carry bags that kind of thing so uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about first off the bag that it comes with which is basically a canvas messenger bag and um, I will say that being stationed over here uh, in Europe, uh, this is going to help me blend in a lot better than, you know, tactical bag or even some American uh, looking bags, American logos. Um, so I'm very thankful for this bag and I'll definitely be using it. Um, you can see it also came with a patch with a for Forager um, written on it on the inside of this. You can see that there are also uh, pockets. You get uh, two basically uh, phone pockets as well as um, a few pen pockets. And then over here, and I'll talk about this here shortly, but you have a, a special pocket for the, uh, for the knife that came in this month. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the actual content of this month. In no particular order, there's something known as Chirps Chips, which is um, chips that are made out of crickets, <laughs> uh, specifically cricket flour. Um, so that might be interesting to, uh, to try out later. You know, it, insects are a thing that, that people eat and have eaten for a very, very long time. Moving on to uh, an item that I'm definitely going to be putting in uh, one of my bug out bags is a sprout kit. Uh, basically, this container makes a greenhouse so that you can uh, grow seeds. Basically, only in about two to three days, uh, you can start eating um, the food that you're uh, that you're growing. So, uh, basically, renewable sources of food uh, right in your uh, right in your backpack. Uh, we also have something uh, we have a grappling hook, basically, and these hooks can be used. Not only for you know grabbing uh, fruit, but you can also be you know, string up you know try the animal meat and dry it out that way. Um, try to avoid crocodiles. But yeah, basically um, you'll have a, just add paracord and you have an instant grappling hook. So pretty cool. And uh, every month there is a survival skills kit which basically teaches you that if you're given these items that um, you can c come across in the woods, but if you're given these items and these instructions and you basically build that experience and that, um, and that muscle memory as well as just information and um, you can be able to uh, come across things like bones and, and wood um, out there in the great outdoors and be able to create things like fishing hooks and other uh, other tools. So uh, I really like how Apaka Box uh, does that in their uh, their kits. Also have some reading material. You know, with so much craziness happening in the world, you know, it may be just uh, nice to, and uh, comforting and relaxing to just read things um, that have nothing to do with any of the craziness out there. Here's a book called Tree Finder, you know, and you can just go outside, you know, relax in the woods, you know, try, try to see if you can identify some, some, some trees out there, have a good time with you and your family. Um, really low stress and I'm actually, just to take the, your mind off of things if nothing else. 
this one is signed by Creek, who is the uh, the brains behind this operation. He is the host of the basically reality survival show known as Fat Guys in the Woods. Basically, he takes a bunch of uh, couch American couch potatoes, takes them out in the woods, teaches them how to do things, um, survival uh, skills, and then um, lets them survive uh, on their own, uh, separated from each other. So, pretty cool show. I'm not sure if it's still going on or not because, like I said, I'm stationed overseas, but I thought it was a pretty cool thing. But basically, this guy knows his stuff. He's a survival expert. And this is a a pocket field guide how you can use trees in order to um, um, use them in for survival purposes so I think that's pretty cool there's a lot of I mean to be able to look at a tree and see tools rather than just leaves and sticks is a uh, is a pretty good thing to, to, to know um, and it's very lightweight too so if you forget or if you just hadn't read it yet just carry that on you uh, but Knowledge is um, that you know. It, what do they say? You know, obviously, knowledge is power, but uh, knowledge weighs nothing. So you know, apply that and read this, uh, read some of this materials. And there is a basically a bookmark kind of thing, basically talking about uh, Arbor Day. And then what tree is that book? And helps you identify different trees out there. This is just, like I said, just be great reading for you and the family. Uh, so, very cool. And last but not least, and this is an item that definitely going to be put in my kits, whether I'm stateside or over here in Europe. And that is this knife, this forging knife, as, they, as it says on the paper. Which is also, not only is it serrated, but it's a shovel. So this is actually a tool more than it is just a flat out knife. And it is full tang and uh, feels rather comfortable and it doesn't look threatening or anything like that. And uh, like I said, I think I'm going to be putting this in, in my bags. That way, if I get asked, you know, why do you have this item? It's like, well, it's, it's just a shovel. Um, and it has, has this for, for cutting branches. Because that's what a survival knife is. It's a tool. It's, uh, it's not meant to you know, do anything, anything terrible, you know, it can be used to defend yourself in a worst case scenario, but, um, that's all, uh, hopefully that never happens to anybody, but, uh, yeah, I, what do you guys think? Um, let me know what y'all think about this kit, uh, in the comment section down below, are these items that you, uh, find useful, uh, what do you think of a pocket box, um, what do you think of, survival subscription services and um, you guys if you're interested I'm not being paid by a pocket box although this is sent to me because I have a YouTube channel with uh, a somewhat of a larger following um, but I'm not like I said, I'm not getting paid to endorse them and you guys have seen from my <laughs> recent battle box video that I will say exactly what I think but I'm I'm actually quite pleased with this month's um, this month's theme so I'll get the next one in a couple months and if there's anything else that you guys want me to review, let me know in the comment section down below, including other survival um, subscription services. Y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be prepared. God bless.